Hi, I'm Miss Gentry. I am the art teacher at Cowan Road Middle School and I wanted to share some of the artwork that is being displayed this month at our school for Hispanic Heritage Month. Hispanic Heritage Month is from September 15th to October 15th, so let's check out the artwork. Here we have some folk art portraits created by 7th grade. They used a wax resist technique. Folk art focuses more on community, heritage, and experience rather than any type of formal training. This was created with watercolors and crayons. Here are some Mexican sun and moon drawings created by sixth graders. The students created this sun and moon drawing using poster board and oil pastels. The sun representing knowledge, energy, and warmth. And the moon represents calm, emotions, and instinct. And these two placed together creating balance. Here we have some Picasso inspired cardboard faces created by 8th grade. The students looked at some artwork created by Pablo Picasso. Picasso was a Spanish painter who was known for creating the Cubism movement. Cubism is a form of artwork that shows different angles of the same subject at the same time. This was created with cardboard, glue, and paint. Here we have some Ojo de Dios created by 7th grade. They were inspired by the traditional weaving of the Wetchol Indians. It is created using yarn and sticks. Here we have some Guatemalan Ori dolls created by 8th graders. The legend is that if a child tells their doll the worries and then place the doll under their pillow at night, the doll will, prov will provide them with the wisdom and knowledge to deal with their worries. It is made with pipe cleaner, wood beads, markers, and yarn. Here we have some molas. This is created by my sixth graders. Students created this artwork after being inspired by the artwork from Panama. Bolas are actually a colorful fabric applique created by layering fabric, but the students created these with construction paper and
Here we have some sugar skull paintings created by 7th grade. The students created this artwork inspired by the sugar skulls. They are used in the celebration of the Day of the Dead and the sugar skull representing the parted soul of a loved one. This is painted using tempera paint and markers. Here we have some Papel Bocados. This was created by my 6th, 7th, and 8th graders during an A-Day rotation. And the students collaborated together to create these bright cut papers. Um, and they are often used for both secular and religious celebrations. This was made with tissue paper, string, and glue. 